What's up, Games by the Beach? We have a deck profile for you. All right, tell us your name and what you did here. Um, hi, Games by the Beach. It's Jason. Um, today I came top eight at Game Traders Regionals in Adelaide. Awesome. So you came six, didn't you? Yeah, came six. And which... you won this pretty mad. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Really like top topologic. Sorry, yeah. Connor, I couldn't get the Akashic for you, but maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit disappointing that we didn't get the, that one. But, you know, we still won this, yeah. so well done, mate. Yeah, thank you All very right. much. So, what, what did you play? Um, today I played um, Pendulum Magicians. Yeah. And what was the matchups? Um, so, for round one, I versed True Draco Invoked. That was um, game one. I won, it was just a simple win. Game two, he anti-spelled me. But it ended up screwing him over as well. And it just turned into, like, Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh! But in the end... Purple Poison was a bit too good and ended up winning that. Um, game 2 I versed ABC and he unending night made me both games and I just lost. Game 3 I versed Trickstars. One game won relatively easily. Game 2 was a massive grind because we had anti-spell and we both really didn't play but again Purple Poison and Black Fang are really good cards so they like kept me in the game. Um, next game I versed Brody, another member on Games by the Beach, won game one, and then lost game two, so we drew, and he was playing Spirals, it was like very, very back and forth. Um, next game I versed 60 card um, Zombie Light Swarms, I won game one, game two he resolved Brilliant Fusion and Grass and I lost, game three went into time, and um, he activated Grass again for 29 cards, and the only reason I won is because he had only 300 life points in the final round turn in time, and I had 8,000, I had um, Astrograph in hand to stop the battle damage. Then for my final round, I versed Burning Abyss PK, and one game won easily, and when he activated Anti-Spell, I just changed Cycle, and that was all she wrote. Awesome, awesome. All right, let's get into this deck profile. Yep. Alright, tell us what you want. So, to start with is my hand traps. I decided to play Max C and Ash. Um, reason I went for this ratio, Max C, I think it's one of the best cards in the game. Gives you free wins. Even though it's kind of meh in the mirror match, it's still not bad if you play it before they summon the um, harmonizing. And Ash is just, it's just really strong. It covers a lot of what the deck struggles with. It just helps to disrupt because your deck only generally has two disruptions. Um, a lot of builds I see sometimes don't opt to run it, but I decided I'd rather have some hand traps in because the deck's consistent enough as it is. And as a pendulum deck, I can afford to run just a few hand traps, the best ones, and it worked out really well today. They all came in clutch. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So for the monsters, I ran three of all the magicians. Mm hmm. So three double Rs, three Black Fang, three Harmonizing, three Purple Poison, and three um, Wisdom Eye. I have to say the best one today was probably <coughs> Wisdom Eye, but I have to say Black Fang is super underrated. It just helps you push for game. Like, they're all good in their own way. Like, they're just so strong. Awesome. Yep. Would you consider playing maybe a two off or cut anything from this build no, at the I moment? I think... You cannot touch this. I feel they're the best monsters in the deck. They all, they just all do so many things. They really feel like they brick. I feel if you were to cut anything, you'd cut almost anything else around the deck besides that core set of magicians. Cool, cool. Then you got your main searcher, your main playmaker in the deck, Joker. Um, two pendulum sorcerer because it's one of the few cards in the deck that actively allows you to hit double iris to help okay. search your spell and trap to get a free advantage. Also, you can do a cool play with using this and Babuska to make a Kashuk. Didn't come up today, but it's just there and it's nice. And also sometimes his pendulum effect is useful with Joker if you're pushing for game. Two Oath Dragon. If this guy was level four, I would run three and I'd probably say he's the best magician in the deck besides maybe Wisdom Eye because just the fact that he can just add a pendulum card back to hand under current master rule four, it's just it's just broken. It's just every turn, oh, free card. So this guy's cool, cool. so good. Um next to Astrograph. Mm -hmm. If this card was a magician, I'd run three. Because it just has so much flexibility. It makes wavering eyes if you're not listening to mirror much really good. 
it saves you from ATKs, helps ATKs. It's a low scale as well. It's just, it does everything deck needs. Down to the one of White Fang. I would not cut this card. It comes in so clutch, because today, um, so I'm playing, um, playing um, the Phantom Knight PK, the PK player. He tried to um, use Mecha Crypt Engineer on one of my monsters, and I was able to just negate it and destroy it with this. It just comes in a lot of clutch, and sometimes when you're just in those games where you're just top decking, 1600's pretty good. And also it's a tuner, so it's just, it solves a, it just, it's just nice. Like, I really like it, and I wouldn't cut it. I'm awesome. going into the spells. I ran Triple Wavering. Yep. I was expecting to see a lot. I was expecting to see the mirror match. I didn't see it all today. I'd still leave it at three, though, because just the fact that if you have any scale that has some decent effect at prox and you can go into Astrograph, it's sort of... You just... You don't lose any advantage. You just get a 25 body on board, and it's still pretty nice. So I'd definitely still leave it in because Pendulums is... You could argue they're the best deck. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, I think you just have to run it because it's just broken in the mirror. Um... Next three of Duelist Alliance. This card, I was conflicted with it. I wanted to run two for a period, but I've sort of grown to like three, just because it's just nice. It baits ashes, it searches your spell and your trap, which is really strong. And I think it's just really solid. Yeah. Like in most builds. Um, next two Desires. I know people run three. I will never run three Desires. I just don't like the fact that I could draw a second. Every time I resolve Desires today, I never drew into another one. And I think that alone is enough. And sometimes it's, it might sound strange, but it's even a decent card to side out at times. Because in theory, it's just like siding out a blank card. Yes. Um, next off, two star pendulum graph. Really good card, it just free advantage. Just, just one of your main searches. One right Geki, I feel it just it just it's just nice. In the mirror and against a lot of decks, it just you can deal with the board before you even have to start. And it can just get you so far ahead. And it also is a card that can make the opponents panic as well. So I really like that. And then last two, the traps. Yeah. They're like one of the best cards in the deck. That's it's what all, makes the deck. It's what makes the deck. It's all your disruption, it's all your cute plays, it's just fantastic. Awesome. Um, side or extra? Uh, we'll start with side. Okay. Um, so with the side, I sided in triple lance. I feel evenly matched hurts this deck really hard. Yes. But the thing I like about lance is not only that it stopped the evenly matched, there's a lot of matchups where it's just really nice. Like against true Draco, masterpiece can't be used against invoked, against ABCs. And spirals now since I run a lot of the spells and traps to summon from hand it's like it's a really good card right now and I think you just have to run it because it protects you and it also can hinder the opponent mm. for my spiral matchup I decided to opt to run two droll in a sphere mode like it didn't come up today but in testing when I versed uh, my mate Brody he like the main theory is these all these are Pretty much interchangeable. If you draw one of these three, you'll be able to out the board. Basically, when I was versing Brody in our practice match before the event, he opened a full spiral board plus D barrier. And because I had this, I ended up winning the game even though he resolved two more D barriers over the next two turns. So I think this card's really, really good in pendulums because you can... Um, and you, you don't really rely on your you don't normal need summon. Your sum no, yeah, you don't need your normal summon. And when you double Iris, your monster, and you can swing into this, it can make OTKs so much easier. Mm. And, like, even if I did have a third roll, I don't know if I would even take it out. Because this is fine even if you don't see it in your opening hand. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I like this. Um, next, three Cyclone. I probably cited this in the most today. Just because it's just nice. It deals with... Deal, anti spell. Deal, deals with anti spell, deals with the trap. Oh, just deals with everything. <coughs> deals, deals, with, with, deals with invocation, deals with two Draco cards. Mm, 100%. Deals with like anything that you need. And it's yeah. just super nice. Um, Then we had D Barrier, just because D Barrier covers a lot. 
it helps the deck to just control the game. It's nice, you're not linking this card, it's still broken. Yeah, pretty much. And three evenly matched because it just helps you add boards and it's super strong. Yep. Alright, let's get into your extra deck. Let's see what you have. Yep. So, for the extra, I ran one time star. I cut it down to one because as good as it is, you never ever want to summon two. And the main, like, okay, it's search effect is nice, but the deck does enough of that as it is. The main reason why you want it is the protection, and it doesn't need a detach for it, mm. so I think one is fine. Um, lightning package, just to deal with just annoying cards, beat over stuff. self explanatory Yeah, just, just your generic staple. Um, trapeze Magician. As you saw on my side, there's not a whole lot for Trick Stars, but this is a very good card, because if they don't have... They can't make a way to get to a monster that beats over it. This effectively kills their entire strategy and makes it really difficult. And there's also cute plays you can do by detaching to target your opponent's monsters to attack and then indirectly have another disruption where you really shouldn't. Um, anti Illuminous Knight. This was more just in case I versed like a deck like True Draco or ABC to an extent that had a lot of targeting effects. It didn't come up, but like... I was happy it was there because it just helps cover more stuff. Tornado Dragon, he was really good today. Just dealing with back row, triggering my own double iris to get the trap when I needed more disruption, and putting a monster in grave to make Black Fang more alive. Mm -hmm. MVP of the extra deck. This card was just. It's set up for OTKs. It was really, really strong. Fantastic. Mist Dweller. Made it a few times today. Every time I made it, it won me a match, so it was really, really good. Enlightenment. I know why it's good. It's good in the mirror, but it was just kind of meh today because I didn't see it. Pick the around, bro. <laughs> Omega. Yeah. Fantastic. Made it almost every game. It's yeah. just super good. Did a cute play today where some um, an individual slumbered my field, and this was in grave. And I used effect to add his slumber back, and he ended up dead drawing it, and ended up winning me a game. Nice. So it's just. Got a lot of cool interactions. Supreme Clearwing. This is one of the best cards in the extra deck as well. Went into a lot. It just it really gives you the ability to push and mm -hmm. really end games. Ignista didn't go. In, only went into it once today to bait out a sleeper, but it's just so strong. And if you make it in the mirror, you'll win. Beals made against the True Draco player. He had nothing he could do. Really, really good. Um, Akashic um, didn't come up today, but. If the opportunity arised where I could have made it, I definitely would have summoned it. It was just a lot of the times I just, I didn't need to. I was either already in a winning position or decode was just a better option. And that's the final one, decode. I made it a couple of times and that's just another layer of protection and it helped me push and it was really nice. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, Jason, for the deck profile. No problem. Glad we can help the community by showing off the deck profiles, get some ideas, get some insights on how the deck runs from one of our team members. Yep, definitely. And if anyone has any questions, just ask in the comment section on me when we're at games about my card choices or if I would run anything else or suggestions. Fantastic. Yep. Um, any shout outs? Last uh, words? Love to give a shout out, obviously, to the team. Like, we've put in a lot of hard yards going to you go nearly nearly four times four times a week sometimes five like i don't ever since i've been playing i've never known of a community that went to this length to improve any improvement i've seen within the group has been quite astounding um like to give a shout out to connor who did a lot of play testing with me when we caught up outside of Yu Gi Oh, and he helped me because i think he's probably a better magician player than me and he gave me a lot of ideas and structures of how to make my deck and yeah that's pretty much it. Awesome, awesome. All right. Thank you so much, Jason. All right. And we'll see you next time. See ya.